progression bars, I just wanted to show you the flexibility that there are. So we'll come up here to the effects and we'll open up the toolbox, go into generators, here they are. If we hover over, we can get an idea of what they look like. So let's grab this one here, throw that on, and we can make it as long as we want. And so once we have that over here, we can see all of the different options that we have uh, available to us. So we have the font for the actual text that's here, the color of the text, the size of the text, the spacing, if we ever need to change the spacing. And then we have this control to change the offset. And I'll show you that here in a second, the before text and after text, if we want to add anything on there, as we can see, we have a percentage. So maybe you'll uh, can kind of see where that's going. The end amount, so we can change it to the end of the bar to represent anything we want specifically, or in the start amount, the progression of the bar, so going from one side to the other. The decimal, if we want multiple decimal places, uh, if we need to get that specific. Uh, the height and the width of the bar itself, and then we also have the corner radiuses if we want that to be squared off or rounded even more so. We have the colors for the actual bar itself, the background and the outline, as we can see if we scroll down a little bit. And then we also have the controls for the arrow if we wanna change the color on that and its offset. So I just wanna quickly go over the actual text here because this can be representative of many different things. As we can see here, we just go from zero to 100. So that's progression bar from start to finish if it was from zero to 100. I'll take off the decimal places here for a second. But instead of that, let's say we wanna take this off and let's just make this money, right? So this could be representative of money and US currency, we do have cents, so we could put in here two decimal places to represent that. And then as we move this progression bar, we can see that we have the cents changing there as well. Maybe the, uh, the United States and Canada uses the dollar sign, so maybe we need to represent that with USD if we needed to represent that it's the US dollar or CAD if it was the Canadian dollar. And there are many, many others that you could just simply take and then have that representative of this as well. Uh, to go to, to continue with that, if you've ever used the character map, so this is the Windows character map, or I'm guessing Mac has something similar, you can also find these characters online. But I just wanna grab this degrees, because we could also change this up as well, and then make this, let's say, Celsius or Fahrenheit, whatever we want to represent uh, for that. And we'll quickly change this, so maybe we want this to be 32 degrees to 400 degrees. And it's pretty self-explanatory. We come to the beginning, it's representative of 32 degrees. And when we bring it to the other, uh, other end, it's 400 degrees and then all of the stuff in between there. But let me quickly show you here to make this super simple uh, to kind of see. I just wanna quickly change this to, let's do 10 degrees, sure. And when we change the width here, it will always represent a sliver of 10% of the whole bar. Right, so if I was to increase this all the way out, it will show more, right, because the bar is bigger, so it's still representative of 10%. And when we uh, decrease the progression here, it will go right to the end, right? And if I just bring it in ever so slightly, we can see a little bit there. And if we bring it all the way in, we can still see. But if we bring it to, let's just do a couple percentage and we make this width significantly smaller, we still see that little sliver in, uh, you know, in it's it's matching however big the bar is with how much is actually being shown there. That is pretty much how these work. I can't think of anything else. Oh, the other thing too here, uh, changing with the width, if we were to change the height, uh, we do have to slightly move whatever the numbers are and the little character or the carrot there. So we have to move this up. And then if we scroll down, we would also have to scoot that up just ever so slightly um, to represent that maybe make this a little less so it looks a little bit better so you can see there so that's how that would work uh, all of the others kind of work the same exact way they just have a different look these are obviously circles so they work just ever so slightly different as you can see here we have that same progression bar that works the same exact way we can change the what we want before and after the amounts 
And with this one, uh, it starts off and it goes clockwise, as you can see there, or you can click the flip and have it go counterclockwise if that's something that you need. We also have a position control, so if you don't want it to start at the top, maybe you want it to start at the bottom, we can have it start at the bottom here, so 0.5 would be right at the bottom there, and then we could have it go around that way, or flip it and have it go around. So you do have that as an option. You can obviously have this start wherever you want in the circle um, that works best for your project. So they're pretty flexible. If you guys come up with other things that you would also like to see uh, in this, I would definitely take a look at potentially adding it in. But I feel like this kind of works for just about anything. If you have to, an idea was the uh, graphics card market, how it, you know it's kind of crazy nowadays, uh, you could represent that or if you're trying to represent temperature changes over time or just the percentage of a project being done whatever it may be I feel like being able to change the before and after and changing the start and end of the amounts uh, kind of makes it uh, very flexible in what it can actually show uh, for these little uh, progression bars. If you have any questions, you could go to the uh, contact section on the website, submit your questions there, and I'd be able to uh, explain a little bit more on how these work, or if you have any suggestions, also send them there, and I could see about adding to this pack. But that's the pack, and that's the little rundown that I wanted to show. Like I said, everything here, colors, all of that is uh, you can obviously change. This one has a couple extras because we have little bars and big bars, so you can change that. The background of this versus the background of this and the interior line and the exterior line, you have those all as different options there. So 